Welcome to another Quick Tech video. I'm Aaron, a technician here at VirtuWorks. Today's installment in our self-guided help video series is going to demonstrate the procedure to set up Outlook for iOS and connect it to your VirtuWorks or Office 365 hosted Exchange account. These tips may be useful to any person setting up email on their iPhone, but our examples will revolve around VirtuWorks Exchange and Office 365 in particular. The first step is accessing the App Store from the device you would like to set up. Search for the Microsoft Outlook app and choose Get. There is no charge, but you do have to be signed in to download from the App Store. Once the app is installed on your device, click to open it. Enter your email address and hit the Add Account button. The next screen will ask you to select your email type. Some of our larger clients use Office 365, so if that sounds like it would apply to you, choose Office 365 from the list. Otherwise, or if unsure, select Exchange. In some instances, if your account is an Office 365 type account, it is likely you will not see the option to choose your email type. Instead, a pop-up bearing the Office logo will appear requesting your email password, possibly preceded by an authentication request. Enter that info, apply any multi-factor code that may be requested using your Authenticator app, and setup will be complete. If VirtuWorks is your Exchange provider, there are a few extra steps. On the Exchange Setup page, enter your email address in the field designated for it at the top. Enter your password on the next line, and then for the description, you can make this any friendly name you like. The server line gets the following information. mail.virtueworks.net M-A-I-L dot V-I-R-T-U W-O-R-K-S dot net. The domain line is left blank. And finally, the username line gets the same information as the email line, the full email address. If the email address and password are entered correctly, you should see a screen asking if you would like to add another account or maybe later. If that was the only account you required, click the Maybe Later button. Otherwise, click the Add button and repeat the process we just covered for the new accounts. You might be presented a request to allow notifications from the Outlook app. It is best to allow these notifications so that you receive an alert whenever a new message arrives, but that's entirely up to you. If the process failed, first check your email address and password spellings. Keep in mind that email addresses are not case sensitive, but passwords most certainly are. If the account still cannot be added, go back to the beginning of the process or start over, and then next time, choose the alternative option for the email type. Choose Office 365 if Exchange failed, and vice versa, Exchange if Office 365 failed. If you're still unable to connect to your email account, please open a support ticket with VirtuWorks for assistance. See, there was nothing to it. If all steps were followed, you will now have access to your company email on your iPhone or iPad. This process can be repeated if you need access on multiple devices. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you found the information useful. Hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever a new video is posted. Again, my name is Aaron and I thank you for joining us today.